So what is the nature of this jobs crisis we're experiencing? Helping to explain it for us is a top expert on jobs, Byron Ogist of McKinsey & Company, the global consulting firm. Recently, he wrote a revealing analysis of the country's employment predicament, looking at the past, present, and future. He's not only going to tell us what's going on, he's going to show us. Byron? Thanks, Fareed. Let's go all the way back to the recession of 1948. Um, the U.S. lost jobs in that recession. People were laid off. But within six months of GDP recovering, uh, those jobs were back. And the same pattern held for the next 40 years of recessions and recovery. People were laid off, the economy recovered, and they were hired back. And it took about six months for jobs to return to their pre-recession levels after GDP did. But something changed in the early 90s. And after the recession of 1990, it took 15 months from the time GDP recovered until the time that jobs recovered, more than twice as long. And we saw that doubling again in the 2001 recession. And in that recovery, it took 39 months for jobs to recover after GDP had already recovered to pre-recession levels. And how are we doing now? Not well at all. In December of 2010, uh, the U.S. economy returned to roughly its pre-recession levels of GDP, but at current rates of job creation, it will take 60 months, that's five years, to return to our pre-recession level of jobs. So what is the cause of these jobless recoveries in the U.S.? Uh, McKinsey's research shows three reasons. Changing employer behavior, mismatches in the labor market, and declining entrepreneurship. These are the reasons for our jobless recoveries. The jobless recovery that you describe, uh, Byron, is fascinating because it does seem that this all begins, this trend of jobless recoveries, about 20 years ago, as you say. And it's about the time that people talk about the rise of the information revolution and the ability of companies to do all kinds of things with technology throughout their supply chain uh, that they were never able to do, and the rise of globalization, the ability of companies to hire uh, and source from everywhere in the world. So it seems like these new uh, forces, technology, globalization, are the kind of underlying shadow that is moving these numbers. Fareed, it's absolutely true that technology and globalization play a major role here. In technology, for example, it's those workforce management information systems that companies have that allow them to reduce their workforce so quickly. On the other hand, it depends on how you use technology. Um, and when you use technology for innovation, that creates jobs. So McKinsey's research suggests that the Internet created 2.6 new jobs for every one job that it destroyed. And in a decade like the 1990s, where so much of our productivity growth came from innovation, we saw both terrific productivity growth and great job growth. The problem is in the last decade, it was more efficiency-driven and not so much innovation. Byron, that's a fascinating introduction. Come